converting this old half of an IBC into a wicking bed. Uh, it's a pretty easy sort of process. The IBC was cut in half. We were using it for a bit of a horse feeder or something like that. And now uh, we've got it down in our greenhouse uh, repurposed chook run and it's going to be growing our ginger for us. So to start with, we get the IBC, wash it out and make sure that uh, it's all ready and on nice and level. So as you see here, we've just used the frame for the IBC to act as a guide for the level. So the IBC is level on this side and it's also level on this side. So now we'll uh, go ahead and start piecing together some 90mm PVC pipe to go into the base to act as the wicking bed part of the wicking bed. Now here at uh, Corimbia Cottage uh, we try to reuse, reuse and recycle. We're going to be making our wicking bed uh, from recycled materials. In that case today we're using leftover and recycled 90mm uh, PVC to make the base for our wicking bed. Uh, what we need is uh, two 700 pieces of 90mm PVC, two 500 pieces of 90mm PVC, and two 200mm pieces of 90mm PVC, four elbows, a T piece, and a squared around connector just for the top and to pretty it off. We'll also need some drills, a driver drill, and a uh, drill with 13mm bit, and also a hole saw for a 30mm hole saw and a measuring tape. When we're putting together the IBC, uh, we have to have some holes in the bottom for the wicking bed for the water to come out and act as a uh, watering system for the IBC. So for that, we've got our 30mm uh, hole saw and we've drilled even amount of holes in most of the pieces to allow for the water flow to come out. So the holes are around about 150mm apart all except for the 500mm piece, which is going to be the vertical piece when it attaches to the IBC as a water filling station. And that makes our wicking bed work. Now we assemble the base into the wicking bed and make it so it's ready to plant up or get soil in to be able to plant up. So you grab the component, making sure that the holes are all on the bottom. Place it into your IBC. So as you can see there, it covers the base of the IBC with the holes on the bottom, the water will come out and saturate the earth around it, adding to that wicking effect and hence the name wicking bed. Okay. With our squared around connector, I've just got that in to sit on the top of the fill pipe just to make sure that there's no sharp edges or anything like that. Now we're going to attach our watering system into the inside of the IBC and that's just simply done by a couple of screws through the outside of the IBC into the 90mm PVC pipe. In this instance, I'm using self-drilling screws. The last component we need to install to make our wicking bed serviceable is a little bit of an overflow pipe. Now this overflow pipe, I'm just using 13mm black poly. Uh, we drill through a 13mm hole through the IBC and into the top of the uh, T-piece so the water remains level with the top of the pipe all the way around and won't overfill past that point. And then you get your black poly pipe, you slice the end so it's on an angle and then you insert that through the hole and into your PVC.
when we filled the ricking bed we filled it with river pebbles and filled up the base first and then up to just above the 90 mil PVC then the rest we filled with garden soil and then threw in some green mulch as well as some hay mulch and now it's ready to plant. Thanks for watching. We hope you've learned something out of this video. Please like, subscribe and follow us for more videos later on down the track. Bye.